Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today we're going to make a simple light speed effect using Blender's new geometry nodes in Blender 2.92. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. To start, I delete the light and change the dimensions of the cube so it's more like a rectangle. The dimensions I decide to do for the X and Y is 0.2 meters, and for the Z, 3 meters. Then I added a cylinder and rotated it 90 degrees along the x-axis. Then I went into edit mode and face select and selected the two faces and deleted them. Now it's time for geometry nodes. So I go to the animation tab, bring it up so I can see it better, and then change the timeline to the geometry nodes editor. And from there I hit new and now we have the basic startup for geometry nodes. So the first one I want to get is a point instance. So I hit shift A and search for point instance. Then I put that in the basic geometry node area, just like shaded nodes. And then for the object pointer, I put it on that cube. And you can see that they're rotated the wrong direction, so that's easy to fix. You just rotate your object in edit mode, and it rotates the entire thing. So I just rotated it along the x-axis, 90 degrees, basically how it started originally. And while I'm at it, I just move it to the side so that it's not bothering me. I then search for an attribute fill so that I can change the scale. And to get it to actually affect the scale, you can go in attribute and enter scale. Then you can change the effect and when you do this, you can actually see what point instance actually does. So as you can see, what it's doing is putting my object on each vertex and spreading it out. And the reason it's not a rectangle, as my object is, is because I haven't gone in Command A and applied the scale. Once I do that, it will be a rectangle, though first I'm going to add another geometry node. And this node is Point Distribute. This is like Point Instance in the fact that it distributes things everywhere, but this one I like more because it randomizes these effects. It also does exactly what you're seeing and you can have a little bit more control over it. But now I'm going to go command A and then apply the scale. And now you can see they're more like rectangles, but they're in the wrong direction. And when you rotate it, it doesn't really work unless you do it in edit mode. And once I do that, you could start to see the light speed effect. And now on the attribute fill node, I'm going to change the scale to 0.26. That's what I found worked well. I'm also going to change the point distribute from random to possession disk. This is so I have a distance option. And for distance, I'm going to change this to 0.16 and density of 5.34. Now we just need one more node to randomize the scale of all these objects. The reason we want a random scale is so that it doesn't look all the exact same as it currently does. So this node is attribute randomize. This node will randomize the scale if we type scale into attribute and type the min, well for the min I just leave it the same, and max of 0.34, at least that's what I found well looked good. You can change that and play around with it. The max is just the biggest the object will be and the min is the smallest it will be. So technically with a min of zero, we might even have some that we can't see, which I'm okay with. So now we have our object. As you see, it looks decent other than it's not very long. And to fix that, all we have to do is go and change the scale. I personally made the dimensions for this 100, but you could make it bigger or smaller if you choose. And if yours looks like this, well that's because you haven't applied the scale. And to fix that, you simply go command A and hit scale. And now, as you can see, we have what we want. Then on the cube, let's add a material, but first check Bloom in the Scene tab. An emissive material, and make the color white because that's more of a Star Wars type effect. And then the strength of three. That's what I found worked well. And now for the world, because you probably don't want a grayish looking world, you can change it to black. As you can see, it now looks really sweet. Now we just have to animate the camera and change the focal length to what makes it look good. To animate the camera, first make the location to zero and the rotation to zero, but then we change the rotation on the, on the X axis to 90 degrees so that it's facing in our little tunnel. Then we can animate the location of the Y to negative 50 and then change the geometry node editor back to the timeline and insert the keyframe. And then bring it a couple frames. I just decide to go to 80 frames to get to the end. And then change it on the 80th frame to 
50 instead of negative 50. This will be different if you have a different scale of your tunnel. And now you can see we have a cool tunnel, or Star Wars type light speed effect. Other than we need to change the focal length, and we probably don't want that cube showing when we fly by. To do this, we can just go and enable the render tab, and then disable the cube. And then you can also change your animation tab to end at whatever frame you're ending at. And now you can see when I change the focal length, it looks way different. Feel free to play around with this to find what you want, but I end up going with a focal length of 15. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.